Hello guys, this is Space Office here, and we are doing, what, episode 9 at this point? Alright. We should, yeah, we were right here uh, last time, so we are literally right back where we left off. So that was pretty quick. We got back to where we needed to be pretty quickly, so. Okay, what do we got up here? Anything? Alright, not, ooh. Is that what's that? Um. Overloading their systems. Oh, shit. Time. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Is what I hear right? 
This plague doesn't affect humans? No. It seems like some kind of bioweapon or something, since it affects so many different species. The Blue Suns figure humans caused it. They're shooting us on sight. God knows how many have already died. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You know, now I'm looking at this uniform of mine, and it kind of is beginning to look purple. I don't know why. I don't know how it looked on your side, but it kind of looks purple to me. And I was going for more of a, a blue, so you tell me what it looks like. Looks purple to me. Or oh, violet, maybe. I don't know. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first <coughs> cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Hmm. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Mm. Definitely seems like it's been um, made in a lab somewhere. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Did I already do this one? District. Kept things nice. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control, and the whole district turned into a war zone. I mean, I think that I already did this, but whatever. You said the Vortus moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Sons and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make <clears throat> it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Good luck. May the force be with you. I, I just had to. I'm sorry. I just had to. Star Wars. The, the new Star Wars movie's coming out in a couple weeks. I, I just had to. Oh, um. Since we're, we're talking about Star Wars. Uh, we can use this! Yes. Since we're talking about Star Wars, I'm gonna tell you, like, what I think about the Star Wars movies uh, and how I would uh, rate them. Now, obviously, I think episode one is kind of a, you know, you could watch it. You don't need to watch it. It's stupid. Really, the only reason you should watch Star Wars episode one is for the pod race. And the fucking demon-looking battle with the two Jedi. Other than that, the whole movie's a piece of crap, and you don't need to watch it. Episode two, 
is, is good. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna lie about that. Episode two is good. I, I like the the arena battle scene. Um, I like the you know. You, you, yeah, I, I liked when uh, Anakin cut the cable and it kind of went dark. It reminded me of um, Luke and Darth Vader and, and their uh, epic night uh, dark room battle. I think that's kind of a nod to that. Episode 3 um, was kind of okay. Uh, you know, I understand that we use CGI a lot, and, and that's fine, but, you know, there was a time and place for CGI, and then, then there was a time and place for practical, actual, physical things. And just because it's cheaper doesn't mean it's good. Um, sometimes, doing it old school is best, and, and that's what I liked about the old uh, trilogy four, five, and six was that it was built at a time where CGI didn't exist, and if it did, it was so basic, you know, you may as well not use it. And I think that's the problem with the new ones was that they relied too much on CGI, and you know, and George R. Banks, he was a stupid character. I don't understand why they had him. Had Jar Jar Banks in episodes two and three. Yes, because Jar Jar is in episode three. He makes like a five second appearance, and I'm. I hated him. I think everyone hated him. He was a stupid character. Obviously, he was put in there for a comical effect, but I don't think anyone laughed at, you know, any of the jokes. Take that... cover! Oh, I think Jar Jar Binks was supposed to be a funny character, but then there's like they didn't know how to make him funny, so it was it was kind of a wasted opportunity. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Dude, you better get your fucking ass over here. I'm not gonna hurt back your, your black ass. Oh! Fudge nuggets. <laughs> Bitch, you crazy! Nice trip. Was he aiming in the other direction? This will put him down. Not a problem. I'm trying to. Hell. Heading to cover. Get over here. Oh my god. These guys just won't stop. Oh, are you kidding me? Get over here. Oh my god, he even fucking said it. God, I am so dead. Here we go. With you. Fall back. Fucking fall back. It seems we've crossed into Vulture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. That was extreme. Holy shit. That was crazy, man. I thought I was going to die. Oh my god, that 
Oh, you know what? Field is clear. Yeah. We got anything to look at? Like anything at all? Any hidden passageways? That's a shout I'm gonna give you gamers. Like, you youngins? Youngins. I'm like, I'm 23. And I'm. Oh my god. I'm talking like um, I've been around for a while. Well, in a way I have. I mean, I've been around for like 20 fucking three years. So I, I, you know, I'm not old by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, I'm not young either. Not really. But, I mean, to some people I'm young, but to most, uh, I think a lot of kids, I'm, I'm not particularly young either. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. She doesn't know what the fuck she wants to do. She doesn't know if she wants to aim at him, or if she just wants to kind of like, show it. Hey, yeah, I have a gun. All targets eliminated. Do you, bitch, you don't see these people? He's like... Two people? Seriously, there's nothing here. Don't mind me, don't mind me. I'm, I'm just trying to look around. Uh, I don't fucking see nothing. What the fuck's this crap? Coffee? I'm assuming, I mean, that's a, obviously a coffee machine. Seriously, we can fucking make, like, we can literally, like, print a pizza nowadays. And, and you're seriously telling me that in the 24th century, we still don't have Star Trek technology? Are you insane? Come on, man. I'm not even gonna try and say what, I, I, what it is. Synthesize? Whatever. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Now oh, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We are just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. So, you're essentially grave diggers without the grave. So, you're just. I don't know what you are. Thieves. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? Um, look, um, the, I, I can, I, I'll back any, like, kind of, like, let's try to make some money. I'm, I mean, I'm all for people, like, building themselves up from nothing, but... No. No, this is not cool. No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? I've killed people for less. Uh, I don't think she's kidding, man. Whoa, hold on a minute. Nobody needs to shoot nobody. We're stopping, okay? We just wanted to make a quick buck. It ain't worth getting killed over. We're done. Seriously, I swear. Good. I mean, again, I'm all for, you know, making money. That's all fine and good. But stealing, guys? Come on, man. That dude had a family. Maybe. I, I didn't know him. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solis? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Good. You, know, you could have given me whatever he had. I mean, just because I'm stopping you doesn't mean you can't stop me. I got guns. Wait, what? What the fuck? Okay, why the fuck does he get a cool weapon? I mean, this thing's bigger than mine. But you. I, I, what the fuck? Why does the guy get a big gun? And, and, and we're left with these hamby pambies. It's sexist is what it is, man. It, it's the, um... 
It's a patriarchy, man. It's a fucking patriarchy. <laughs> Keeping women down, man. Fight the power, man. Guns than I do. Done. WTF? Norton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Norton. Wait, 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 wait. A woman that can't stop and chat? The fuck kind of uniforms is this? Women are productive and walk? Holy shit! Women that actually walk hard. That is amazing. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. You owe him everything? Really? You seem to still have your clothes on, so obviously you don't owe him your clothes. <laughs> Professor, we're running low on some toxins. Use more animal. Plenty of that. Almost as good. Causes panic in the material. The fuck is wrong with you? Got it. What's wrong with this guy? Bonds to genetic markers, part of five. Expensive to mass produce. Who might not have a call? What the fuck? Do unstable, inconsistent results. Devas ain't better option. No, no, no. Devas ain't toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. He's like, oh my god, oh my god. I didn't mean to do this, man. I didn't mean to do this. I'm so. I just really needed the drugs. I didn't mean to kill you. Oh God, no! Okay, dude. All right, I'm gonna leave. Oh my God, man, he's fucking flipping out. He's going ape shit. Don't mind me. I'm just the woman stealing you shit. This might be useful. You know, with all this crap, you would expect people to be like, here, God, and this shit. No, it's just kind of laying around in a fucking ugly ass womb. Seriously, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? Oh, I don't know what is in these, but this just, no. There's no way that that would meet safety standards. Is that a fucking boat? What? Is, no, that, that's just uh, quakes. Why don't you just put them on the? F oh, maybe because this fucking room has no room at all. See, look, man, it's the fucking patriarchy, man. Even the fucking robots have fucking bigger guns than me. I'm a fucking war hero here. Why am I getting these hammy pammy guns? These fucking AI bots don't. Oh, what the fuck? What, what, oh, who the fuck? What are you looking at? Are you looking for a penny? I'm gonna try and figure out, like, is that a guy? I'm gonna assume that's a guy looking for a penny. I'm just, uh, don't mind me. I'm just, you know, sneaking around. Stealing your state shit. I wonder what he must be thinking, like, who the hell is this bitch running around in my office, stealing my shit? Professor Morton Solis? Hmm, don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees, no mercenary uniform, quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Fortune, crew to clean them out, unlikely. Fortune, a symptom, not a cause. The plague, investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, 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 too many guns, not enough data, equipment, soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. High guns. Baby. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Damn, dude, you are a motor mouth. 
It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. Okay, so he's a motor mouth and a fucking genius? This is a fucking, uh... Sherlock Holmes, man! He's like a fucking alien Sherlock Holmes! And if you kids don't know who Sherlock Holmes is, you, you fucking people are stupid. How, how do you not know who Sherlock Holmes is? Cerberus might not have the best reputation, but we need your help. Why request Salarian aid? Because, bitch, we want Salarian aid. Who the fuck cares? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors want a few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Forge have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Forge. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forge territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. Dude, please tell me that you'll slow the fuck down. You're like a million mods a second. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Your assistant is a dumbass. I'm just gonna say that. Like, really, he's a dumbass. Let's head for the environmental plant. M6 Han can acquire the following. Okay. Sweetness. Wait. What? Why was there was and he wasn't saying nothing? Dude, just, just stop it, okay? Like, he's dead. There's nothing you can do. If I were you, I would join a program, okay? You don't have to live like this. You don't have to be dependent on these drugs. You can have a better life. You can have a better life, man. And you can too. And you. And you. And you. Yes. You. The dude on the other side of the screen. Don't do drugs. It's stupid. It's dumb. And you look like an ass. Like a big fat piece of ass. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Let me... Since uh, everybody can get this gun... Alright, what was it like? The hand cannon? Yeah. You can have the hand cannon. Does she have the hand cannon? Yeah, I think she does. I think it's just automatically assigned. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. Made me sick. Well, you had a clinic, so you can get medicine for that. What the fuck does it say? Wanting low power. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. What you want? You want to get rid of me so quick? Oh, 
dude, this thing is like bitching. This thing is like really bitching. specific video um I kind of got a little bit greedy and uh pushed up when I should have pulled back <laughs> yeah you, uh, here's a tip for everyone guys it's best that you know you pull out before it's too late and before you make a mistake most guys don't listen to that logic though when in doubt, when you when you think you're about to make a big fucking mistake, pull out. Both in game and in real life. Just pull out before you make a mistake. And if you don't know that I'm referring to that, then I'm not going to feel the green. But... If you understand what I'm kind of referring to, then you're smarter than I think most people think. Okay, so see you later.